It's time for Fair Use Fun with David Dobrik. I feel like a game show host, but I'm not a game show host, as far as you know. Here's the game. I'm gonna play a few clips from David's really funny YouTube channel. For each clip, you tell me whether the clip violates YouTube fair use guidelines by voting right there. I'm gonna tell you whether you're right or wrong, and if you get four out of five right or more, I'm gonna give you a big hug the next time I see you. For all my friends in the Philippines, it's gonna be a while. All right, let's hit this. Hello friend, I'm Ian Corzine, your YouTube lawyer. Today we're having some fair use fun with David Dobrik. This guy is so funny, he reminds me of me. All right, here we go. Our first clip comes from David's first video. On a whim, and because he needs in and out so badly, he and a friend decide to drive from Chicago to California. Let's watch. You know what? What's up? I'm honestly sick of this food. We have it all the time. What do you want to get? In and out? In and out? Yeah. Dude, it's like, it's like 2,000 miles away, bro. Yeah. Is that him? Yeah, there he is. Yo, Mason! Hey, Mason! Yeah. You want to go to In and Out? In and Out? Isn't that in California? Yeah! So what'd you think? Was the clip of David rocking out with his vlog squad to the Macklemore tune, was that a fair use? Vote right here. The answer? Well, the first step in determining fair use is to look at the intent behind the person who used the original art. In this particular case, we're looking at the Macklemore song. And what is the intent behind David in using that Macklemore song in his video? To me, there is no intent. David, I think, is trying to communicate that he and his friends are having an awesome time going on a road trip from Chicago to California. It doesn't appear the Macklemore song has any special meaning to this particular purpose. He's just showing that his friends and him are having a good time and there's good music in the background. If you said that David Dobrik's use of the Macklemore clip was a fair use, you got it right. Now it's time for your hug. Psych, you gotta get a few more right before I do that. Clip number two comes from one of David's earlier videos back when he and his buddy Alex loved to pull shenanigans at Target. Let's watch. We just left Target. Okay, we just left Target. But you're about to see everything. We did at Target. We did at Target. <laughs> Sir, did you see that? It's the vintage. So in this scene, when David approaches the man just trying to buy some paper towels and then publishes his image, presumably without his consent, is that fair use? Vote right here. This clip deals with two separate rights of Bounty Man, the paper towel man. The first is the right of publicity. In California, where this video was shot, everyone has the right to control their own image for commercial purposes. Now, this video has 3.4 million views, so technically, there is a commercial purpose for this video. I'm sure David made some good coin on this thing. However, in California, you actually have to prove that there was an advertising purpose, that David used the image of Bounty Man to make money. And in this case, I'm sure Bounty Man can't prove that. So we're looking good for fair use, but there's a second right. Bounty Man has the right of privacy and David cannot violate it by disclosing private facts about Bounty Man. But in this case, Bounty Man is actually in Target, in a public place doing public things. So there are no private facts that David disclosed. As a result, Bounty Man does not have a privacy violation. So David, good job. This was a fair use of Bounty Man's image. Sorry, Bounty Man. This next clip was taken from David's ninth video called Smokin' with Snoop Dogg. Ironically, there's no smoking at all. Let's take a look. Where are we going? We're going in a world red carpet premiere of uh, Straight Outta Compton. They're gonna fit a lot of people in here, so I can't imagine how big this theater is. Oh, that's big. I'm about to go up to Common and get him in the lot. No, 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 no. Walk up to him with a camera. Dude, I know what I'm doing. No, don't do that. I know. That's not just trying to say hi. I shouldn't have come with the camera. Yeah, I'm like, hi, you were right. What did I tell you? No comment, hate you. Okay, the scene we're concerned about is where David approaches rapper Common at the premiere of Straight Outta Compton. Was David's taking of a video of Common a fair use? Vote right here. Now we're in a bounty man situation with a twist. 
Common is a famous rapper and a movie star. His image sells things and David walks right up and steals it. Is this a fair use? Let's do the analysis. David and Common appear to be in a public place, which is the theater that's gonna show the movie. And the rule is that you are freely allowed to take photos and video in public places subject to the right of publicity. The other consideration is whether the landlord allows video and photography on the premises. In this particular case, if there's a rule against video and photography, then David was wrong to take this video. However, putting that aside for a moment, David's clip of Common was not fair use for the simple reason that Common objected when David approached and tried to film him. If the subject of your video ever says stop filming me, then for Pete's sake, stop filming that person and don't use that video clip in your YouTube video. If you ever capture video of a big star who has big finances, he may bring a misappropriation of likeness action against you and then you're gonna need legal protection. You're gonna need the protection of an LLC. Don't know what that is? That's fine, I made a video for you. There's a link in the description. So to summarize, the video clip of Common was not not a fair use. This next clip was taken from one of David's early vlogs about Hollywood. At the end of the clip, you'll see the camera pan across three different pieces of artwork. Let's take a look. Oh, I is lit right now. There's so many people. It's just, hey, hey. <laughs> this is David Jobrick's vlog, and I'm Steve-O. <laughs> wow, look at all the pictures he's drawn. Bill Cosby, my stepdad, Eleanor Rigby. I'm so is use of the sketches in David's vlog a fair use? Vote right here. So we have three, it looks like, charcoal sketches of Bob Marley, John Lennon, and Michael Jackson. Presumably, those sketches were done by the same artist and also presumably without consent. I don't see any attribution in the description section of David's video. Doesn't this artist have a copyright on those images? Yes, under the Copyright Act of 1976, this artist has the exclusive right to reproduce and copy his images for his own purposes. Does fair use apply here to excuse any copyright infringement? Yes, this is a fair use. Title 17 USC code section 107 discusses transformation to be able to access the fair use doctrine. And transformation includes commentary and critique. In this particular case, the commentary, David's talk about Bob Marley, John Lennon, and Michael Jackson, that is a parody. He's making fun of those sketches in a very short amount of time. So this is adequate transformation and this is a fair use. Okay, this is the last one. How are we doing so far? Tell me in the comments. In this one, David and his friends are on their way to a photo shoot and see something very interesting on a billboard on Sunset. Let's watch. Gabby, where are we going today? We're going, I don't even know. What is this thing that we're going? Oh my God, I love your, I love your camera voice. I don't <laughs> even know. <laughs> Alex, okay. where are we going? I don't even know. <laughs> Alex, where are we going? We got our pictures taken. We gotta have some pictures taken. This Chris is the main photographer, man. We're gonna go What's take up? some crazy ass pictures, so we're looking forward to that. Dude, that's an owl. Uh -huh. Hey, dog. <laughs> Holy sh That's an owl. Is displaying the photo by Mark R on the Apple billboard a fair use or not? Vote right here. All right, let's hit the analysis. First, the billboard is in public view and David is not using the photograph of the cowboy for an advertising purpose. So the cowboy can't sue David. Apple probably owns the photograph that appears on the billboard. Mark R, I guess the photographer of the photo, probably transferred those rights to Apple when he sold them the picture. Does David and the vlog squad mention the photo at all in the video? No. So there's no intent to involve the art that's on the billboard in the vlog. So we're moving into incidental use exception to fair use. Is the clip short? Well, it's about 10 seconds, but you know what? That doesn't bother me so much. There's no intent to advertise. There's no intent to involve this photograph of the cowboy in the video vlog at all. They're really focused on that owl. So this is a fair use. Did you have some fair use fun today with David Dobrik? If so, watch my video right here for another round. If you're new to the channel, come join us. I'd love to see you here. Hit the like button, consider subscribing, and join our Discord server. There's a link to the server in the description section below. I do live chats almost every day and provide you with free legal templates. Okay, that's enough for today. We'll see you next time.